Hi everyone, welcome back to another video after a short while like usual. These days I have very little time to take a full day vlog or anything that I would have taken easily earlier. Now it isn't easy. I have a lot of tasks to be done in a day and it's not just taking care of my baby. I have been active on Instagram these days because that is a lot more easier but it's again all about work. I have or I shall say me and my partner Shahla, we both are running an online clothing store Shah's and you might know if you have been watching me for some time and thanks to the almighty it's running well and successfully. We have added a lot of collections recently and so many have been sold out quickly. The feedback we are getting from many of you means a lot to us. I shall link the website below in the description box. But we will be taking orders only till the 4th of this month. We'll be back after a sh very short break. Have already announced that on our Shah's Instagram page as well as on my Instagram page story. Anyways, back to this video which I had taken on a day when mom was preparing a dish for dinner which also can be had as an evening snack. Normally mom prepares this during Ramadan for iftar. Stuffed pita bread almost like alu paratha but here it's chicken preparing the pita bread dough first take a mix of lukewarm milk and water one is to one ratio have used one cup milk and one cup water should be lukewarm to activate the yeast that's one tablespoon then goes in one tablespoon sugar give a mix and cover let it sit for five to seven minutes or till the yeast activates This is all-purpose flour, add some salt and mix. Then goes in the yeast and milk mix. Knead well. A cup of warm water was needed extra to knead the dough. The dough shouldn't be hard and do not add more water to make it a runny dough. After kneading, spread some oil, preferably olive oil, on top of the dough to let it not dry out. Cover and let it double in size. My mom loves the bola salad. So I order parsley leaves every time because I know mom will miss this once she goes back to Kerala. So this salad is prepared almost once a week at home. And it's a very simple salad too. Mom had cooked boneless chicken with some salt, pepper, turmeric powder and some water. There was enough stock in it so I asked mom not to throw it if not needed. I made a simple pulao later using that. Break the chicken pieces into crumples.
heat some vegetable oil in a pan and saute ginger garlic paste. Once the raw smell goes, add green cheese. After a few minutes, saute onion till soft. Add salt. Now to get rid of the ingredients that stuck in the pan, mom added a bit of warm water to the center and mixed everything. When the onion is soft and has slightly changed the color, add carrot. Now add capsicum. You may crumble the chicken with your hands, but mom crumbled it in the mixer jar by pulsing a few times. Add the chicken crumble and mix well. Then use garam masala powder and black pepper powder. Mix well. Now crush a few kasuri methi or the dried fenugreek leaves and mix well. Finally add in chopped coriander leaves and a final mix. The stuffing is ready. And here's the dough that has doubled in size. Knead once again and make it into equal size balls. Roll to a chapati but a little more thicker size. Prepare two pita breads. Place some stuffing on top of one and cover with the other. Press the rim so that it doesn't open. Then poke it with a fork so that it doesn't puff up. Now it's time to cook. Spread some butter or oil in a pan and cook on low flame. Gently press while cooking on each side. Meanwhile, I prepare the simple pulao. Heat a mix of ghee and oil. Mm -hmm. 
saute one onion along with a few green chilies. After the onion has gone soft, add one tomato and mix well. I'm adding very few spices to this, just some crushed black pepper powder and mix. A few coriander leaves and mix well. Here I have used 2 cups of jeera kashala rice, so I need 4 cups of water or the liquid that I'll need to cook the rice. So I adjusted the water later as per how much stock I had. Now if you don't have fresh chicken stock, you can mix two chicken cubes in hot water and then use them for this recipe. When it boils, add a bit of salt and then add washed and drained rice. Mix it well. After it starts boiling, cover the pressure cooker and cook on high flame for two whistles. The tabole salad recipe has already been done in my previous vlog that was recently published. Do check that if you need the recipe for it. Let me show you a simple dip I made for the pita bread. I used thick curd and added some tahini. Then go some black pepper powder, some olive oil and salt. Mix and it's ready. It's time for dinner. I took another video the next day when my mom made her amazing chicken curry but I'll show that in my next video because editing takes a lot of time these days. I first thought to make it a single video but later changed my mind. Moreover, it would be easier to find out the recipe if it's kept separate. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed watching today's video. See you soon with my next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.